Maybe she's that waitress at the local cafe, or maybe she's a coworker or a classmate, or even that friend that you always secretly wanted. Whoever she is, you want to know if the feeling's mutual. And in this video, I'm going to explain 15 of the most common but often overlooked signs that a woman's into you. Hello and welcome, I am Rob, and in today's video, we are gonna cover a topic that may seem sort of basic at first glance, but I promise there's something in here for everyone. If you're more of a beginner guy, by the end of this video, you are going to know exactly what signs and what tells you should be looking for to see if a woman likes you. And for the more experienced guys, I made sure to sprinkle in a couple techniques for getting a glimpse into a woman's mind. I'm going to share a simple, innocent question that you can ask a woman to know exactly what she thinks about you and what she might be thinking about doing with you. I actually feel kind of bad for guys who don't know this stuff because they're probably letting dozens and dozens of women just slip through their fingers because they're misreading or overlooking signals that women all around them may be giving them. But hey, that's their loss, right? You're not gonna let any more women slip through your fingers once you know the 15 most common but often overlooked signals women give off when they're attracted. So let's get to it. One, it's easy to make her laugh. Guys very often misunderstand or misread what it means when a girl is laughing at all their jokes. It usually has less to do with the comedy as it does with how she feels about the guy making the jokes. So the bad news is just because she's laughing at your jokes doesn't mean that you should consider a career in stand-up comedy. But the good news is she probably finds you attractive. That's because laughter is a form of release. It releases tension. And anytime a woman feels chemistry or sparks with a man, she also feels a certain amount of that tension. In fact, tension is actually a precursor to attraction. And that's why when a woman laughs, especially when she's laughing at everything you say, even the jokes that, let's be honest, aren't that funny, it's usually because she likes you. Her laughter is a byproduct of the tension that she's feeling. Put simply, if a woman's attracted to you, she feels a lot of tension around you. And when women feel a lot of tension, it's easy to make them laugh. Two, she fidgets with her hair. When a woman fidgets with her hair, it usually means that she's turned on. That's because preening, which is the fancy term for stroking hair, is a grooming reflex. In primates, females often groom themselves right before mating with a male. So if you notice a woman preening herself while she's talking to you, there's a very good chance it's because you're arousing her interest. Three, she holds eye contact. And as a bonus, she also breaks eye contact first. Poets say that eyes are the windows to the soul. Well, her eyes are also a window into her feelings. Holding strong eye contact means different things in different contexts, but when it's between a man and a woman, it usually signifies attraction. When a woman isn't attracted, she'll either quickly advert her gaze or she'll avoid locking eyes completely. So if she's holding eye contact long enough for you to clearly see the color of her eyes, she's doing it intentionally. Also, if you hold eye contact for a few seconds and then she's the one who looks away, and especially if she looks away and down, then there's a very good probability that she's into you. Four, she displays emotions around you. A woman doesn't always like the guys that she's attracted to. Sometimes, even though a woman likes a guy, she acts a bit mean or she might display some negative emotion towards him, such as anger or frustration. And look, I don't recommend intentionally trying to get a woman angry or riled up, but one thing I am gonna point out is that women don't waste their energy or emotions on guys they don't like. So, if she's not always in a peachy mood around you, I wouldn't sweat it so much. Interpret it as a possible good thing. Five, she speaks in the future tense about you. Now here's a very subtle, but also a very powerful signal that a woman gives off to guys that they like. If she's interested in you, she'll make comments about you in the future tense. Now, these are easy to miss, so you really wanna pay attention. It's usually nothing overt or too obvious. Instead, it's usually some offhanded comment like, are you going to XYZ event next week? When a woman asks these sorts of questions, it's usually because you're on her mind and she's thinking about you. The two kinds of proximity interest. This is a sneaky one, but you can tell so much by observing where 
a woman is and how she's holding herself. So let's start with where she is, which is her proximity. There are two ways a woman signals interest through proximity. First, if it's a woman that you've never met before and you notice that she's positioned herself closer to you, maybe she's standing in your vicinity, she may have done it intentionally to make it easy for you to initiate something. This is something I look for back in the day when I used to meet a lot of women in bars and nightclubs, and it's usually pretty spot on. If she's standing close to you, it's probably not an accident. Now, another type of proximity to look for is with the women that you are actually talking to, the women that you're conversing with. Take note of how close or how far they are from you. A woman who likes you is going to sit closer to you than a woman who doesn't. If you're not sure, you can even test this by leaning in for a moment and seeing how she responds. A classic tip from back in the day was trying to lean in to smell her perfume, right? And better yet, if a woman leans into you to get a whiff of your cologne, that's a very promising sign. Seven, her voice lilts. A woman's voice reveals a lot about her emotional state. If you know what to listen for, you can tell when a woman is starting to like you based only on her vocal tonality. Specifically, if her voice is lilting upward at the end of her sentences, for example, it's a difference between, oh yeah, I like that too, versus, oh yeah, I like that too. Notice how in the second example, oh yeah, I like that too. I sounded a bit unsure, almost like I was asking a question. This is called a rapport seeking tonality and it's how people typically speak to other people of higher status or people that they perceive to have higher status. And since a woman's perception of your status is a major determining factor in whether or not she finds you attractive, if you notice her voice lilting at the end of her sentences, it's one of the most reliable indicators that she sees you as high value in having status, which almost always means that she also finds you attractive. Eight, she jumps through one of your hoops. If you're not familiar with what I mean by a hoop, it's doing or saying something that baits a woman to put an effort or to qualify herself to you. Essentially, like the name implies, it's testing to see if she's willing to jump through one of your hoops. I can, and I'm probably going to, do an entire video on hoop theory. But for now, I'm just gonna cover the basics and explain how you can use it to tell if a woman likes you. So one of the easiest applications of hoop theory is stating something that you like and see if she starts qualifying herself. For example, you might say, oh, I love to travel, but I don't really like doing the touristy stuff. I like to go to places most tourists are kind of afraid to go to because I, I just love exciting experiences. How about you? Are you adventurous? Now, if she starts emphatically agreeing with you and starts telling you all the reasons why she's adventurous, there's almost a 100% chance that she's into you. I mean, think about it. She's actively trying to live up to your standards. And would a woman do that for a guy that she wasn't into? I don't think so. Nine, she lets physical contact linger. Anytime we touch someone that we find attractive, we feel a spark. And I don't mean that figuratively. Physical touch activates parts of our brain that sprinkle us with a pleasurable mist of neurotransmitters. Put simply, it feels good to touch someone that we like. But since there's also a certain amount of social etiquette to be aware of, we don't just mindlessly start groping someone that we find attractive, right? But there is a middle ground here, and it's a middle ground that most guys don't even know exists. And also, I just need to make a quick shout out here. I need to credit my good buddy, Chris, AKA 60, who taught this to me. And uh, if you don't know who Chris is, I highly recommend checking out Chris's YouTube channel if you haven't already. So what Chris taught me was that there are these moments where most guys reflectively pull back their touch, right? Moments like when maybe you shake a girl's hand or when you give her a high five. Up until Chris explained this to me, I'd just shake a girl's hand or give her a high five, no different than what I do if she was one of my buddies, right? But what you can start doing instead is let your touch linger. Don't immediately pull back your hand. In fact, you don't even have to pull back your hand at all. Let her be the one to break contact first. When you start doing this, you'll be amazed at how comfortable women are to let a moment like this linger. I've found that women will allow physical contact to linger as long as you don't make it too obvious or you get too creepy about it. So as you're letting that touch linger, you also want to keep talking as if it's no big deal. It might take you a few attempts to really kind of get the hang of this, but once you do, it's an incredibly powerful thing. And you can do it very early on. In fact, 
You can do it from the moment you first meet a woman. Not only are you flooding her brain with neurotransmitters that are essentially a love cocktail, but you're also gauging a woman's interest. If she's into you, she'll let that physical touch linger. She has open and direct body language. When a woman is interested, her body language becomes open and inviting. She faces you directly. She has her shoulders square to yours and her arms will not be crossed. She often has her hands relaxed and they're often visible. Open body language is subconsciously signaling that she's comfortable and receptive to you. If you notice that she's open and directly facing you, it's a strong sign that she's also attracted to you. 11. She uses your name a lot. If you find a woman saying your name in conversation, there is a good possibility that she has feelings for you. When a woman has feelings for a guy, the sound of his name gives her a tiny but enjoyable emotional rush. Just think back to when you were a starry-eyed teenager, right? Doodling your girl's name in your notebook. We all do this sort of stuff, although sometimes we're not even conscious of it. But now that you know that this is an indicator of interest, listen closely. If she says your name a lot, there's a good chance that she's attracted to you. 12. She asks you questions. If a woman is curious about you, then you probably don't need a dating coach to tell you that she's also probably interested in you. Although you can sometimes get an even more accurate read on how a woman feels by considering the questions that she's asking you. If she's asking you the sorts of questions that suggest that she's really trying to get to know you, that's an even better sign. Questions like this, they're not fact-based questions like how many siblings do you have or where did you grow up? Instead, they're questions that probe your opinions and even your values. Questions that often begin with, how do you feel about? Or what are your thoughts on? When a woman starts asking these sorts of questions, it's probably because she's trying to form a connection with you, which is a very, very good sign. 13. She randomly imposes a restraint. Now here's an easy to miss sign that you're on a woman's mind that no one really ever mentions. If you've ever heard a woman abruptly announce that you and her can't do something together, it's probably because she's the one who can't stop thinking about it. For example, have you ever heard a woman say something like, you could walk me home, but don't even think about kissing me yet. We just met. What's funny is you probably didn't even mention kissing her once, but she brought it up because she's probably the one who's thinking about it. And now look, I'm not saying that this definitely means that she 100% wants to kiss you, but what I am saying is that she is definitely thinking about it. I mean, why else would a woman think about kissing a guy unless she liked him? 14, she tests you. If a woman likes you, she's gonna test you. It might seem counterintuitive, but tests are a way for her to gauge your confidence and your stability. These tests can come in the form of teasing, challenging statements, or even minor conflicts. She wants to see how you react. Do you get defensive? Do you get insecure? Or do you handle it with grace and confidence? Passing her tests by remaining calm can significantly increase her attraction to you. One thing I always point out to clients is that women aren't mean to guys that they don't care about. If she's testing you, or even if she's coming like she's like straight up insulting you, unless there's some reason for it or she's some kind of psychopath, she's only doing that because she likes you. 15, she makes herself available. Now, more than anything, a woman who makes herself available is the most consistent, reliable indicator that she's interested. Even a woman who displays all the other signs, if she makes an excuse every time you ask her to hang out or she goes cold whenever you try to set something up with her, unfortunately, then there's probably a pretty good chance that she doesn't actually like you. No matter what excuse she gives you, if she liked you, she would make time to see you. She would want to see you. And if she wanted to see you, she'd make herself available. Now, this idea isn't just limited to setting up dates or seeing her in person. This is threaded into every moment from when you first meet her until you marry her. There's often a direct correlation between how available a woman makes herself and how much she likes or maybe even loves you. In fact, back when I used to coach guys on how to approach women at bars or nightclubs in an attractive way, I always would tell them that there's only one sign that they should be looking for. If she's interested, she's gonna be standing there and talking to you. 
If she's standing there talking to you, you have to assume that she's interested. Believe me, in this day and age, women have become experts in dismissing a guy. If she's polite, she might say, oh, I need to use the bathroom, and then she's going to disappear. And if she's less polite, she's probably just going to ignore you and walk off. But if you remember nothing else from this video, remember this. Women don't waste their time on guys they don't like. If she's making time for you, if she's making herself available to you, you can safely assume it's because she's into you. Conversely, if she's always got an excuse for why she can't see you or she claims she wants some time alone and, or she's not looking for a guy at the moment or it always feels like pulling teeth simply to get her to respond to a simple text message, then sorry to be the one to tell you this, but she's probably not into you. Or at least she's not into you yet. <laughs> All right, guys, so there you have it. The 15 telltale signs that a woman is attracted to you. Remember, recognizing these signs can make all the difference in your interactions with women. The key is to stay observant and to be confident in your approach. Women appreciate a guy who can read the room and respond accordingly. And if you found this video helpful, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment below with your thoughts. And let me know if there's any signs that you've noticed that I didn't mention. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Cheers.